I'm Alden Ehrenreich and I play Ethan Wade in the film, uh, who's a young guy living in this small town and just desperate to get out of this small, small-minded town. Small town. <laughs> I play Lena Duquesne and I'm Alice Engler. And Lena is a supernatural young girl. She's 15 and um, on her 16th birthday she will either turn through the light or the dark and is struggling with that as well as just the usual teen stuff and also wants to kind of know what it's like to be human when ethan sees lena he's immediately drawn to her she represents everything to him that he's been wanting which is this she has this exotic quality and is really direct and she's not like anyone he's ever known and he's just looking for some anything to break up the monotony of life in this small town it makes any difference um, i like you he may not think so later and so when he meets her, she's like everything he wants and goes after her and then finds out that she's a caster and together they have to, in order to stay together, fight against these supernatural forces and, um, and also fight with each other sometimes to stay together. Are you a witch? No. The movie starts about being like, what, is it, what does this mean that you're a witch? I mean, calling us witches is like calling the smart kids geeks or the athletes jocks. We prefer the term caster. Alden, what was your most embarrassing moment on set? My first day with Viola Davis, and it was we had these two big scenes together, and the night before I went to a restaurant called The Black Cat and got um, some crayfish, and I don't even want to talk about it, but it, it um, so I woke up in the middle of the night vomiting, and so the whole next day was just, you know, get through the scene without vomiting on Viola Davis, and so th that was, uh, that was probably, Embarrassing, although it was really good because it worked and it was fine, and everyone was really nice about it. What magic power do you want? The ability to summon smoothies or something. What magic power would you want if you could have one? Um, I would love to annihilate mosquitoes because I've thought about this a lot. You can kill them. No, no, I. Just you mean all of them? Gone. Right. All of them. Right. Do you have any strange pet peeves? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just imagined like pet. I, but yeah, like, it sounded all, like, like that, like a pet. Do you have, I have a pee, I have a peeve that I go on walks with and stuff. Um, I um, I don't like gossip. I don't like when people gossip about other people. Like that one guy. Yeah. <laughs> Who did you want to be when you were little? An actor, really. I mean, I would see these people in movies, and I would I would go. It wasn't even so much wanting to be an actor, but more just like being like people I saw in movies. I wanted to be a writer and I would get my mom's assistant um, to, um, I would dictate to her. Mm -hmm. And What were the um, stories about? One was called The Princess and the Dragon. Really? Um, which was a romance. Really? Yeah. What was it about? About a, a romance between princess them? Princess and a dragon. Yikes. Most people spend their entire lives waiting for a moment that's going to change everything. It never happens. We can start our lives right now, okay? We just gotta say yes. We just gotta get in the car and just go. 